In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create some pretty insane VFX shots using only a reference photo and a few simple text prompts. This workflow can be great for saving money on pricey VFX work or even creating some scroll stopping content on social media. I'll be showing you some of the tips and tricks I use to get the best results. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I use After Effects to take my results to that next level. But first, a special thanks to today's sponsor, Motion Elements. So to get started, we're gonna need a static image or photo. I'll be using this photo of a car in a snowy environment. If you don't have a photo of your own, you can head to a stock website like Motion Elements and search for a stock image that you think will work nicely. We can also use video footage for this technique as well by using the first or last frame of the video as our reference and then blending the output of video result with the AI generated VFX. So keep that in mind as we progress. To achieve the effect today, we'll be using Runway's Gen 3 text and image to video generator. So head over to their platform and select this text or image to video generator and locate your reference image here. Now you'll probably notice if you choose a vertical image or something that isn't 16 by nine, Runway is automatically going to crop it, which I don't actually love. So let me show you a workaround for that. We can open up our image in Photoshop and use the crop tool and generative expand to transform our original vertical image into a horizontal image better suited for Runway. Now let's just re-upload that image and get started. The first thing you may notice are these first and last tabs here. This tells Runway if you want your reference image to be the starting frame of the generation or the final frame of the generation. For this example, I'm gonna choose first because I want the car to start off on the ground and then slowly start floating into the sky. Now you'll see right below that we have a text prompt box which we can use to describe the results we wanna see. But quickly, if you aren't comfortable writing prompts, you can use these presets down here to help get you started. So for example, if I choose this surreal levitation prompt, we'll get a starting point for our prompt where we just need to fill in the blanks to be relevant to our specific image or shot. But for this example, I'll just write an extreme wide angle establishing shot from low angle level looking up into the sky. Cars floating slowly in the sky above, defying gravity, extreme perspective in the style of cinematic. I'll quickly choose if I want the output of video to be 10 or five seconds long. And once I'm ready, I'll hit generate. Now, once our render queue is complete, we can review our results and if we're happy, simply hit download. Or if we want, we can adjust the prompt and regenerate to tweak our results. But here are the results based on our first prompt. Now, I think this is already looking pretty epic, but in this next step, I'll show you how we can bring it into After Effects and bring it to life even more. But first, like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you need some stock photos to try this effect, check out our sponsor, Motion Elements. All right, so check this out. As a video editor, I'm constantly looking for high quality assets that I can grab at a moment's notice. All right, yes, you caught me, this is an ad, but seriously, stay with me for a second because this could actually benefit you. Instead of creating everything I need from scratch, I can just head over to motionelements.com and find pretty much any asset I'll ever need. They have over 14 million free and paid digital stock assets from videos, Premiere and After Effects templates, royalty-free music, sound effects, and so much more. Imagine it being 2024 and you're still wasting time creating a texting conversation from scratch when you could have just downloaded one from Motion Elements. Editing is only getting more streamlined, so if you don't want to fall behind, then check out motionelements.com and use code JustinSaran9 for 70% off your first month when you sign up for an unlimited subscription plan and gain unlimited access to over 14 million stock elements. So here we are with our newly generated video inside of an After Effects composition. Since our generation is slowly pushing in towards the car, I wanna create a dolly zoom effect to create a little more motion within the scene. So to do that, I'll go to the very end of our clip and set two keyframes, one for position and one for scale, leaving them as is. Then go to the first frame and create two more, but this time zoom in quite a bit and reposition the car center frame. Now we have this subtle optical illusion or dolly zoom as they call it in the biz. Finally, I wanna add a bunch more falling snow to really tie it all together. So what I'll do is search for the effect CC snowfall and apply it to our clip. We can play around with the settings here to really dial in the effect, but I think if I adjust the size of the snowflakes to around 10, we'll get some pretty nice results for this example. Now the possibilities really are endless with this effect as you can pretty much describe anything you want to happen. Like maybe you want the car to explode. Regardless, this is gonna make simple VFX and eventually more complex VFX much more accessible to the general public who maybe don't have the fastest computer setup or technical skill yet. It's also worth noting that Runway is a paid platform, but you can get started for roughly $10 per month, which is honestly pretty affordable considering all of the cool tools that they offer. They even have a free plan so you can test it out. Either way, that's all for today. So if you learned something new, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.
Peace.